Most expensive, I uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. most expensive item of clothing ever bought. Well, uh, being 18 years old, um, my parents still buy most of my clothes for me, which is ridiculously sad. But, you know, I'm not going to give up free clothes, so... Um, however, the most expensive item of clothing that I've ever bought by myself is, without a doubt, my tweed jacket. Mmm. I look good. And the reason why I bought that by myself is because my parents refused to buy it for me, because obviously they have no sense of fashion at all, because I think that is quite... I don't, I don't think I can actually put it in words how incredibly amazing that jacket is. First job you ever wanted as a kid. Uh, the first job that I ever wanted as a kid was when I was, I don't know, between like 8 and 10, I guess, and I wanted to be in the Red Arrows. So if you're from the UK, like Alex, I'm guessing you might know what the Red Arrows are. The Red Arrows are basically an aerobatic jet squadron, I guess you'd call them. And they just did like maneuvers and like barrel rolls and I just thought it was like the coolest stuff like ever and I just wanted to be one of those guys. I used to just draw all over my book, little fighter jets and stuff. It was quite adorable. You, you just have to take my word on that, it was quite adorable. Tell us about your group of school friends. That was actually quite good. Uh, so I finished school last year, but all of the friends that I had there are all still my best friends and and we just call ourselves the gang. It's like, hey, what's up, gang? It's just, it's easy to remember. There was a period at the end of grade 11 and the beginning of grade 12 where we tried to start a band, and I tried to catch on our band name, uh, which was 24 Caliber Justice. If you like the name, let me know. And I tried to make that start off, but it didn't really catch, and we kind of stopped playing, um, playing together, so that was disappointing. So there's five of us in the group, and in Australia, most private schools are single sex. So it was me and four other guys, Potsy, Al, Jules, and Richo. So at the beginning of grade 12, we discovered girls, and we discovered a group of uh, girls from St. Rita's College, which is a girls' school, and they kind of joined our group, or our groups merged together, I guess you could say. So now there's 10 of us. That includes Jess, Lucy, Alice, Bridie, and Hannah. So yeah, that's our group of friends. Yay. What would you name your kids? Now, I have a little, uh, I have a bit of a pet peeve with this, because Everybody that seems to answer this question is always like, well, you know, I'm not, I'm not grown up enough yet to have kids and stuff. It's like, well, duh. But everybody thinks about what they're going to name their kids, even if you're not ready to admit it quite yet. And I'm pretty sure everybody, once in their life, has said, that's an awesome name, I'm going to name one of my kids after that. Uh, for example, when I was like eight or ten, that's how young I was thinking about uh, naming my kids. I was planning on naming my kids after Pokemon, because I thought, Nido King and Nidoran were fantastic names for children. But uh, luckily I don't think that anymore. I think that would be classified as child abuse. So yeah. So I've always wanted to have like a theme with my kids for some ridiculous reason. And so for example, one of them was I wanted to name all of my kids after one of the Beatles. Uh, another one, and probably my most favourite one to date, is just starting all of my kids' names with the same letter. And I was thinking V. I was thinking of naming my kids Victor, Vincent, Vivian, and Violet. Yep. <laughs> On the theme of naming your children, I think Ryan might be interested in this. Uh, the game Skyrim came out recently, and the main character in it is called Doverkeen, and Bethesda, the makers of the game, sent out the challenge to anybody who was watching that if you named your newborn child Doverkeen, they'd give you a lifetime supply of games. And I am proud to announce that on 11-11-11 in Norway, Doverkeen Makrovic was born. Fantastic. So just a response to some of your videos throughout the week. Let's begin. Uh, so Emma, uh, great to hear you're donating blood. I remember last year in grade 12, all of my friends gave blood and I didn't. Not because I'm a prick and not because I'm selfish and I don't want other people to have my blood but because I'm a vampire and I don't have blood. I'm actually kidding, I'm not a vampire. I'm British though. And if you were in Britain between 1993 to 1996, you legally can't give blood because you've got mad cow disease. Or at least there's a possibility that you have mad cow disease and Red Cross won't take my blood. Fine, I don't, I don't care. I don't, I don't care if they don't want my blood. Uh, secondly, Alex's book idea. Fantastic idea, mate. I am really looking forward to seeing what it's about. I think I, I think I get the general gist of it. Is it basically just like a journal? Like you write stuff in and then you post it off and then other people write stuff in and etc, etc. 
Because if so, that sounds fantastic. And I've got lots of little stickers, all to do with Australia, that I'm doing absolutely nothing with, so I can plaster them all over the place, and it'll look absolutely fantastic. Ryan, great video. I love cake. I've tried to make it myself, but it does not turn out nearly as well as yours. In addition, I am not so much a FPS gamer, although I do absolutely adore them. I've been playing Battlefield 3 non-stop for about three days now. However, I have also bought Skyrim, so I've been switching between the two. I'd just like to take a second to just express how awesome this music is right now. So just hold on a second. Oh my god, it's amazing. By the way, if you're interested, level 5 Fire Mage. What up? Uh, Alice, fantastic video. Um, I didn't really have anything to respond to, so I thought I'd play you something. Yes, I nailed it! And uh, to Lila, I am so sorry to hear the bad news. Uh, I don't think anybody should be traumatized and have to be put through seeing Breaking Dawn Part 1. I'm, uh, my heart goes out to you. I'm just, uh... Uh, and finally to Pollux, I have so much respect for you doing your swimming at 3 o'clock in the morning. I know it's a tough sport, so in order to support you, I've decided to wear my swim trunks through this video as well. And it's also 3 a.m. where you are when I'm filming this right now. So keep it up. So anyway, bye! I've got the last question. Ryan, do the survey next.